Yo, 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 what's going on, guys and girls and Muppets? This is your boy Street Rod 1929 back in the house once again with a game of Team Deathmatch on Interchange. And I'll tell you, you know, I wasn't really digging this map when it first came out, but when I started sniping, it changed the gameplay, and I love this map. But anywho, let's get this new game going because this new gameplay is actually it's a new series. And I, I just want to kind of set this new series up and kind of tell you what this new series is about. Um, there's going to be episodes in this series, and this is series one. And and I'm going to tell you what this series is about, because I know you guys like series, so I'm coming out with new series, okay? And so, if I can explain this in a few words, this new series is a series of a series of me playing Call of Duty, okay? So it's going to be a series of me playing Call of Duty gameplays on YouTube, videos, commentaries. It's a new series, okay? And what I'm going to be doing in this series is I'm going to be shooting a gun. I'm going to be killing the enemy, okay? And that's the series, okay? So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. You'll thumbs it up and all that good stuff. Anyway, guys... You know, I'm just kind of kidding around. I mean, I was thinking about maybe this is like, this could be a, a no Moab series because I'm really good at, I would be very, I'm good at that, okay? Um, and I kind of just figured that out because I snipe and I'm really not the best. But uh, as you can see, this gameplay starts off, it's a, it's a disaster. Um, but, you know, I, all these people are, have these series out and I, I can't even figure it out. I mean, I'm watching Call of Duty, okay? And they're talking about like a series, I'm going to, hey guys, this is a new series, I'm, I'm playing Call of Duty and I, we're going to talk about you staying in school. Look, if I really cared about staying in school, I wouldn't be sitting watching Call of Duty and playing it 24 hours a day, okay? If you're watching a Call of Duty video, you don't care about staying in school, alright, unless you're, there's a Call of Duty school or something like that, okay? But, um, you know, how about a series where like I sit on the toilet, okay, and um, I don't know, like... I, I tell you what's in the bowl after a game of domination, okay? How about that kind of series, okay? Anywho, um, I'm just kidding around. Uh, it, it is it is kind of funny. I, I go to all these various channels and people have like all kinds of episodes and stuff and it's uh, it's pretty hilarious. But, um, you know, I, I am, uh, you know, I am, uh, you know, not going to say I, that I didn't do it. You know, I did do the Noob Sniper series and um, I... I think it's kind of coming to an end. I don't know. You know, I I, um, I think I'm myself more of an advanced noob now because uh, I, I feel like I know what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, this spot right here on uh, Interchange um, is pretty sweet. Um, right by this burning car right here, um, you can got, kind of get a, a few vantage points. Um, except I just got shot there. But I try to make it back uh, to that spot. Um, because it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. There's like, I don't know, I get shot again. Uh, like I said, this this game, it just didn't start didn't start off too well. But it, it turned out to be a pretty good game. Dropped my Bouncing Betty there. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I love that Bouncing better, Betty. Uh, yeah, that Bouncing Betty way better than the Claymores. Um, you know, if you set that thing right, um, it, it, it works so well. Uh, you know, I find claymores you know to work well you know if you set them right but i think the bouncing betty you know with the 360 degree um just it just works a lot better look i got killed again i mean this is like ridiculous um but you know i'll get to my spot and do some damage here i'm back on the opposite side so i'm um, able to get back over to the spot i was telling you about i just want to show you um you know i've been sniping so my gameplay has been much much different um, than than it was in uh, you know in Black Ops, and um, you know I try to try to keep my distance because uh, I, I am not a quick scoper as you guys know, but um, this spot right here was just a beast spot because uh, you got this awesome vantage point and they spawn down at that side and it's just like they just keep on coming, and um, so like you know I, I I keep watching the mini map and try to watch where my guys are, and. Um, you know, once I see that they're not spawning down there, that means they're going to be spawning where I just spawned in. And um, so I got to keep my eye on that. And I've, I've played this a, a quite a few times, and it works pretty well. You know, this is definitely a, a good a good spot. It's a it's a very 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 you know far um, 
uh, you know, spot and a good, you know, has a great vantage point um, all the way down to the very end there, the other, you know, the other spawn uh, spot. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 I didn't like this map when, uh, you know, when the game first came out, you know, I, was, I think I was running around with a submachine gun or something like that. And, um, I don't know, you know, I was like running around with like a chicken with his head cut off, getting shot left and right. Um, but, um, you know, it's like anything else, you know, once you get used to, uh, you know, get used to the maps and used to where the spawns are and, you know, just, uh, you know, things come a little bit easier, you know, and, um, you know, uh, the whole thing with, you know, sniping has made this, um, you know, map just much more interesting, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I have actually found it, uh, not, you know, more challenging as well as, uh, just, um, uh, just a greater uh, sense of accomplishment to be able to snipe on um, some maps that you know you necessarily wouldn't snipe on. You know some close encounter maps and stuff like that as well. As um, you know, this map I, I don't know. You know if it's uh, I got a long vantage point there, but you know there's a lot of in, in, ins and outs here. You know, so I don't know. You know if you would kind of call this a, you know maybe a medium size. I, I would, it's not you know it's no dome or anything like that, but. Um, um, I don't know, you know. So anyway, yeah. So you know, here I, you know, I don't see these guys coming out because I'm hard scoping like a champ, and I don't see them coming out. So um, you know, I kind of switch over here and uh, look who's coming here, you know. So they're spawning over on that side. So you gotta be really careful because they're either gonna be coming out um, of that one area, um, or they can be coming out of the back. But um, I put my um, my bouncing Betty back there. So hopefully, you know, that'll kind of give me a um, you know a little forewarning. Um, you know, that either it'll go off, kill them, or, um, you know, it, it's weird you can hear your own bouncing Betty. It's got, like, a different sound to it. Um, and I kind of use it as a warning if, uh, you know, if it, uh, if it doesn't kill them. But, um, you know, I probably should be using the, uh, the uh, proximity radar, I think it's called, um, sniping. And I, I just don't use it. I, I just found, like, uh, you know, using too many things, um, kind of just throws me off. I, I, I actually enjoy like watching the mini-map even when there isn't a UAV. Just trying to see where my team is and figure out uh, where the enemy team is. You know, obviously they're, you know, if you if you look at how your team is facing, um, you know, it's pretty obvious, you know, where they are. Um, you know, you kind of just look at, uh, you know, your team and uh, which direction they're pointing and uh, you, know, you get a pretty good idea. But, um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, game's coming to an end here. Um, I was able to pull off a pretty decent score, you know, sniping, uh, you know, noob sniper here. Uh, I'm going to go with an advanced noob sniper now since I'm much more comfortable on I think I know what I'm doing. If you guys feel that I'm an advanced noob sniper, let me know. You know, if you feel like I'm, uh, if I moved up from the standard noob sniper, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. And I appreciate you watching, and uh, I will come out with more new series, okay, guys? Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See ya.